Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan Stewart, your favorite ignorant American. I got another rugby reaction video today, and this one is a little bit more somber, a little bit more emotional than really anything we've looked at so far. Uh, we are closing out, this will be the final video in our deep dive of the New Zealand All Blacks. Of course, we'll see more of them later, but in, in our series of looking at all the teams competing in the World Cup this year, uh, we are closing out the All Blacks with this video. And this is the tribute um, series of hakas that were performed for Jonah, Lum Jonah Lomu's funeral. So um, I, I wanted to see some more hakas. Uh, a lot of you suggested this. And this seems like a very fitting way to sort of close this out. So I don't want to say too much more. I want to dive in. The only other thing I, I do want to add is um, I'm probably not going to be doing as much commentating or narration on top of this um this you know this isn't the kind of thing for me to <laughs> sort of have outrageous reactions to so uh, i'll probably be quiet through a lot of it and taking it in um you know in a sense of respect really and uh, i hope you all join me with that if you have seen this before or not um but let's take this in together maybe i'll ask some questions or make a few comments throughout but um otherwise Let's uh, enjoy what is truly, um, it's a sad moment, but let's treat it as the way I like to look at things like this with funerals, which is it should be a celebration of the person's life and their impact on the world and, and the people around them. So let's, let's keep that in mind. So some of Jonah Lormu's teammates, friends, fellow rugby players assemble in front of the stage as the pallbearers arrive, some very notable figures amongst that group Dylan Mika Michael Jones Frank Bunce Manu Vatuvaid Kano Kano Irani Clark but first now the Haka Poro Pehana Kano I know that name Haka of Wesley College it shows you how few of these historical players I know because I, I only recognize Kano I, I've been watching the 2015 World Cup matches since I haven't been able to actually put them on YouTube So this must be, they said the college, so this must have been Jonah's uh, college. And there's Kano right there in the front. Wow, look at the faces of the pallbearers. Look at that. It's giving me chills. Legit. I mean, just look at their faces. Man. But ha how much honor must these people have felt to get a chance to partake in this ceremony, right? To get to perform that haka in celebration of Jonah. It just, that's stuff that I'm sure these people all remember for the rest of their lives. You know, I'm a newcomer here. To this history and, and this this you know the rugby culture of the world never mind just new zealand and uh dude i'm getting chills knowing the tiny little bit i know about all of this i'm getting chills just watching this that little gentleman gentleman looked just like jonah lomu so that must have been his kids. 
I look just like him in a lot of ways. So now this must be another group performing a haka for him. Maybe y'all can help me understand who these different groups are. So there he is again. God, I think it's the eyebrows that does it for me. So that must, but my guess is then that's his wife as well, the, the lady with the two kids uh, standing with the children. Look at them, man. I mean, you don't have to read between the lines here. It is written on their faces. So evidently, how they feel. I'm not lying. I'm still getting, I'm getting chills again. This is like the passing of a, of a national hero. Oh, this is interesting. Was this one planned? This feels almost like a spontaneous haka happening with these uh, kids, these students in the stands. Like the procession stopped. I saw the cameraman spinning around. It's almost like this one was Spontaneous, maybe not. Can only imagine those kids being part of this. Remember that for the rest of your life. So three Hucker, past pupils of Wesley College, then the salute from some of Jonah's teammates. So the, the, the second one was his teammates. The and the Warriors, and then the Hucker of the current studi students okay. of Wesley Me College. Okay, maybe it was now, planned. The symbolic release of 40 doves. <clears throat> Oh no, look at her face, she's gonna make me cry. Oh God, no one knows the pain like her. Everyone else here is celebrating, but she really, she's gonna, she's gonna feel it more than anyone else. Guys, it's choking me up, legit. So 
about 40 doves take to the skies above Eden Park. The dove, the symbol of love and peace, greatly symbolic on this day when we pay tribute to a man who was much loved and who is now at peace. Hmm. Man. We have not watched anything like that on this channel or done any reaction like that. So um, I don't want to say too much more. It all speaks for itself. I'm, I'm really glad we got to see the Haka in a different context and to see it in this sort of powerful way. So um, really enjoyed it, guys. I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, you know, for a lot of you, maybe that bring, brings back pain, but also celebration. And um, I just was glad to get to experience it. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, everyone.